Damn, guys, remember when we had tournaments? Feels like another lifetime, doesn't it? But uh, what's up, everyone, on YouTube? A very quick recording here live on my stream. It's going to be regarding a viewer question I got a few days ago. I didn't have time to respond to it then, but it was along the lines of how do you deal with anxiety in ranked battle? And interestingly, I had a coaching session as well the day after where one of the things my student wanted to discuss was the very high levels of anxiety he felt when he was playing online and especially in ranked. It was to the degree where he actually felt really uncomfortable and that hindered him in his progress he felt and made him want to avoid ranked at all costs. Not only promo matches were the worst, he felt, but not only in promo matches, but even in just normal ranked matches, he felt like this, you know, very unpleasant feeling. And so I was going to discuss this a little bit in a video. I thought it was a very interesting topic. And I just want to start by saying that that's completely normal. You're not alone. And that goes for every type of anxiety out there. It's... It's very easy to think that, you know, it's it's only me. Uh, maybe I'm mentally weak or why do I take it so seriously? Why, why is it only me? And it's like, no, everyone feels that. Some less, some more. But again, just you're, you're not alone and there's nothing wrong with it. It's like you're, you're a human being. You're just human. And to me, it's extremely relatable. I mean, I used to be extremely salty in Tag 2. I'm still salty sometimes, but I'm much better uh, mentally these days. Uh, I'm coping much better these days with Tekken Online. And I have a couple of tricks to share with you guys. Um, but uh, I also want to touch a little bit upon this idea in the community that, oh, you're salty, oh, what a loser, bitch, piece of shit. And I'm like... I've never really understood that sentiment, you know, or on Twitch streams where someone's salty and people feel that, oh, we should now make fun of you because you're salty. And to me, it's like, what's wrong with being salty? I, I kind of like watching streamers who get salty, not not overly salty, of course, but to me, it's like, oh, you're, you're passionate about the game. I can relate to that. I also get annoyed playing Tekken. Tekken is objectively, can be a very, very annoying and unforgiving game, especially with lag. It's like, um, I don't know why you gotta shame people who get salty. I've never, ever really understood that. Because to me, it's like, it's very relatable, it's very human, it's... This game is basically constructed at times to annoy you. I, I just don't see why uh, you gotta put down people who get annoyed. Um... But uh, yes, so the game uh, of Tekken is extremely unforgiving with 50 characters with 100 moves each. Oh, here's this character. Here's another one. Do you know this matchup? Every matchup is like a PhD exam, you know, 100 questions. If you don't know a few of the questions, oh, you fail, you flunk and you die. And it's, and it's one versus one, you know, you're not playing in a team. I think it's very competitive in the way where you alone are carrying yourself. You never have a team, you know, where you can blame others. And I think that's a source of salt and a feeling of failure in a lot of people that a loss in Tekken is felt very personally. And I guess maybe the, the nature of a fighting game that the characters are beating each other up and getting beaten up in Tekken maybe sort of hurts your ego like beating up, getting beaten up in real life maybe would. Maybe there is some sort of para parallel there, even though they're obviously very different. Um, but uh, so uh, the tips I have are uh, as much as possible, and th this is obviously something that is very, very hard to do, uh, but try and accept the game for, for what it is, you know? It's not a perfect game, it has faults, not everything is well balanced, a lot of things are balanced. Try and accept the content that is there, you know. I love this game, that's why I play it. It has certain things I don't like, 
But you know what? They're there, and I just have to learn to deal with it. Uh, for the longest time, I would get really annoyed at ranked because I hated the gimmick characters that were thrown at me at all times. But it's like, you know, they're, they're there. It's like, I still don't like them. I gotta be honest. I still don't like Kuma and uh, Eliza, whatever. Or Alisa with her chainsaws. But it, it's there. You know? I don't get upset anymore. I just go, oh, it's there. And maybe, you know, not... I, I, I don't rematch those characters too much. And that's something, you know, where... Elitist Tekken players will tell you, oh, you get good, rematch everyone, rematch everyone. I'm like, you don't have to do that. You, you can minimize. If, if you get super annoyed uh, fighting against Kuma, you can lab him. Or you can just say, you know what, I'm not gonna rematch Kuma. There's nothing wrong. No matter what people tell you, there's nothing wrong with that whatsoever. You paid your money to play this game. If you're not having fun with that, then don't do it. Maybe play player matches against characters you like. Or in ranked. You know what? This character really upsets me. It's Huarang. I hate him. Oh, maybe dodge. No matter how many times you'll read on forums that you're a Nazi for dodging certain characters, you're not. And that says more about those people than it says about you. Uh... And uh, another good tip is um, try to see the small victories rather than the big ones. Rather than focusing on, uh, you know, winning the match you're playing, uh, try, try to see it as, oh, I, I got a nice punish. Man, that was a clean punish. Oh, I blocked that sweep. You know, just try to focus more on those small victories you can get during matches so that you don't get too hung up on the fact that, oh, I just lost a match, or I've lost two matches, or I'm on a losing streak. Like, as, as soon as you get too invested in, like, your win-loss ratio, that, that can really put you in a, in a bad place mentally. Uh, again, the glass is half full. It's not half empty. Oh, I got a good read. Oh, my, my game plan, actually, I lost, but my game plan was pretty interesting. I adapted a little bit. Oh, that was a clean punish. Oh, I backdashed away from that move. You know, it's like... Uh, that also helped me a lot. Just looking at the small things. It's like a few days ago, I got demoted by a Steve player. He completely dumpstered me. But I never got annoyed because I... I saw what he was doing, outplaying me, and I, I was very impressed by him. But I also had like... I don't know, I lost like 10 to 2, I think. But the matches I won, I was super happy with them. Because I was like, this guy is clearly a better player than me. But a few times, I got my mind games and mix-ups in, and I outplayed him. It was a very small minority of uh, rounds we played. But I was so happy with that, because I recognized how good he was. And... Uh, Again, just the glass is half full. Tr try to see the things you did right, rather than seeing that, oh, in general, I lost that match. Uh, so I, I hope you're, you're understanding what I'm trying to get at here. Uh, and th this is... I'm gonna close this video with the best advice, but which is the hardest one to apply. But it's to 100% put into your mind that every loss is a learning experience. And that sounds very cliche and corny. And it's very hard to actually accept that. But it's completely true. With every loss, you're learning something. And uh, the more you can apply the aforementioned tips the more you will learn from every loss. Because, of course, if you're extremely salty, upset, uh, you, your mind closes off. And you're not adapting. You're not uh, downloading your opponent. You're, you're not doing anything other than being emotional. And that's gonna lead into a down, downward spiral where you just keep losing over and over. Uh, so try to apply what I mentioned. And then you'll see that with every loss, you're actually learning something. Um, so, uh, 
That's what I would say on that. Oh, and avoid lag. If you're playing against a free bar, it, it, just stop it. Uh, that, I learned that the hard way. Like, I would accept free bars, and I would get so angry playing the game because you couldn't play it properly. You don't learn anything playing on a free bar other than learning how to play on a free bar. You're not playing proper Tekken, so avoid that as much as you can. And if you're stuck on free bars due to not having fiber, broadband, uh, my condolences and make the best of it. Um, but yeah, that, that's what I wanted to say in this video. Uh, but I guess I want to stress again because I, I, some people are going to see it as extremely offensive that I said that you're allowed to dodge because there's a small minority of veteran Tekken players who feel that you should deathmatch everyone. Everyone you encounter deathmatch, you have to learn everything. And if you, if you dodge people, those people scream at you. You noob scrub, like, like how, how dare you dodge a match? And it's like, they see the game in a very religiously devout way where the game is flawless and perfect and I, they want to learn everything about it and so should you. Otherwise, you're a bad person. You're a bad, and it's like, you're here to have fun. If you want to become a competitive player, maybe you shouldn't dodge people, but there's nothing wrong in doing that. And if you're here to have fun and learn a bit about the game, you know, there's, there's just nothing wrong in dodging matchups. And to me, that just says itself. It's just common sense. Like, don't feel forced to play against players or characters where you just feel immediately that you're not having fun. It's like, I, I don't see anything good coming out of that. And that's not saying that you can't overcome it by maybe labbing the character and spending more time with it. But I know for a fact that that's not always the case. You know, I've certainly labbed a couple of characters where I, I labbed, a, a good example with me is I labbed Eddie and really grew to like him. But I also labbed Noctis. And I, as, as much as I appreciate the core design of a character, I really, really dislike him. And it's the same with Leroy. And it's the same with Alyssa. And again, there's nothing wrong with that. You don't have to love everything about this game. And I also, that's also funny when people say, oh, you're supposed to be a huge Tekken fan, but you won't lab this character, or you don't like this character. And it's like, yeah, I'm a, I'm a huge fan of Godfather 1 and 2. But there are characters in those, those movies I don't like. Oh, wait, Sopranos. One of the greatest series ever, in my opinion. It's flawless. Except for the character of uh, Tony's sister. I hate her! She almost ruined the series for me. I hate that character. But the series is flawless. It's like, you get what I'm saying? It's like, try to have fun with the game. Apply common sense. Yeah. So, uh, I hope... Uh, yeah, I hope that made sense to you guys. And, uh, yeah. Thanks for listening to me.